Right, so hello, here we are at the Arc de Triomphe behind me, you can see, and it is Thursday, 15th of September, and we are here in Barcelona. We are going to go to Barcelona Zoo, which we found by accident a couple of days ago, um, as we were on a trek to find the beach. Um, so Barcelona Zoo was first opened in 1892 and was the home of Snowflake, um, an albino gorilla, up until he passed away in 2003, I believe it was. So come and follow me and we'll go and check this out straight down here. Okay, Mrs. Serena, we're here. Where are we right now? We are at Barcelona Zoo, and you're going to come with me. Okay, you want to live. let's oh. go. Go to the front. And we're going. That's the reception. Thank you. Thank you. So we just purchased our Barcelona ticket. So it's very sunny by the way, so I'm not sure how well you can see this. You can see the day there. It cost us 21 euros 40. It says right here. Oh right over here, 21 40 euros per and a, a, ticket. Per ticket and an adult. And apparently it's the same as buying online, which is kind of different. You would you would think if you buy online, it's usually cheaper, but not in the case of this zoo. Now it gives us a massive um, Paper which has oh, the wrong way which is a map. The it zoo looks like a L-shaped L-shaped zoo. Looks quite big. I think like they pretty much got every sort of animals or the major animals. So it's supposed to have around what over two thousand animals, something like that. You can see all the animals over there. So far, first impression: very beautifully kept, very nice, maintained, very clean. The opening times of the park is ten a.m. till nineteen hundred seven p.m. as it was displayed over here. Obviously when you come here, do you check the time on the website and do your own research. So as Zed has probably mentioned, this zoo uh, used to be internationally, it's actually internationally famous and known as the home of Snowflake, as she mentioned, because of the albino gorilla, which is very unique in color, which sadly died in 2003 uh, RIP. So as you walk inside the park, you have a, what looks like a gift store which looks like it's closed, but who knows, it might be open. And on the right hand side, you have some lockers, which has animal stickers on it. How cool is that? Now, when we are in a theme park or a zoo, it's very important to have a zoom feature in a camera so you can see the details of things. So we're gonna switch to my Sony camera, which has a zoom in it. We're gonna go inside there. That looks like a butterfly house. Of course, I can't read Spanish. Bug house or something like that. Uh, I'm not going to even attempt to read the Spanish, I'm not going to embarrass myself. Let's go in. See the details, beautiful as well. They're very creepy. Imagine that thing on your head, how would you feel? No thanks. 
and check out this butterf butterfly farm. What a beautiful garden that is full of butterflies. It's got so many things in it. I wouldn't want to go in. You got the fruits, grapes over there. Wow, amazing. Any fruit? Great. This is one of the butterfly house. Butterfly farm. Butterfly farm, this is. Oh my god, I've never seen anything like that. What is that? Does it have a name? Is it this one? Look, metallic stick insect. There it is, you've got a better view of it now. Also, next to each label, I like how obviously they have different languages, they got English and they don't bombard you with too many information. So you've got this thing you can scan, I think with the audio thing they give you. Is this over here? Yeah, Next animal in Barcelona Zoo is the one and only. really nice and quiet so far which is perfect for us I was expecting it's going to be packed full of people bear in mind it is in September we are not in the summer holidays are finished and the kids are probably back uh, what would you like to say any any uh, thoughts so far any thoughts it seems amazing so far but we've only seen a handful of animals so let's carry on please and get this done now I'm looking for Sonic the Hedgehog See the meerkats are hiding away in the shade. It is a very hot day today, so and got one that's ventured out into the open. So look at these guys, they're all digging away. I like how they make eye contact with you suddenly. Digging away and doing things. Sonic there. hedgehogs Sonic. and Facing opposite group. that we have the zebra. So as we're walking past uh, the zebras, we found this beautiful looking thing. I think in this section, fauna maybe? Yeah, land fauna. Land fauna, land fauna. And these are some of the animals that I'm expecting. Lion, oh my god, gazelle. Uh, you got this turtles. And tortoise. tortoise, sorry. Giraffes, looking forward for that. Elephants and D -d 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 cheetah. cheetah. This way. Fun fact from Zed. Did you know that the roar of a lion can be heard for up to eight kilometers away? And the evidence is this. So we found a lion with a mane and sleeping in the sun. Because that's clearly what they do. A lion, I think, sleeps for more than 20 hours of the day, typically. I read that somewhere once. But yeah. The lion king. No! And here we have Elefante. A 
next up we have one of the tallest animals behold the giraffe <laughs> That's how you walk. Uh, excuse me. He's making a rapid rate of knots, I'll mm -hmm. tell you. I thought tortoises were normally. Pretty. That giraffe is following the tortoise. Oh, oh my god. That giraffe is actually looking after or following this. This. Good. Good. That's so cool. What happened? That is so cool. Look. Maybe it should be the tortoise. That's probably the like a Disney film. Okay, he's not going in with him. Look at the beautiful sun and the weather in Barcelona, Spain, with beautiful palm trees all over. And the beautiful tortoise. And the beautiful tortoise coming our way. Look, headshot. Is it staring at us? Yeah. Yes, it is. Hello. Hello. Can you say tortoise in Spanish? Uh, tortuga, maybe. And you got the pond over here where probably the tortoise goes. Maybe this is where he's heading, I don't know. Nah, I don't know where he's heading. So far, we have, haven't been in the park for very long, probably about half an hour, I would say, roughly. Um, but we've managed to see a lot of animals already with minimal walking yeah. around. So it's actually really good the way the layout is. You can constantly come across animals. You're not walking for ages trying to find an animal to see. As soon as you enter the park, almost I guarantee you, you would see something. So it's not one of those parks you go in, you have to walk miles and then you finally see an animal like you happen to some of the zoos in the UK. Uh, behind me is the children's uh, playground as you, many of you would expect in a typical zoo. Now we have Flamingo. Flamingo. Flamingo land. They always look nice when you take a photo. Yeah. What do you think of the park's cleanliness by the way? Um, it's really clean, uh, so far anyway, what we've come through and it's really nice, it's a really calm, relaxing environment. I feel like I can wander around here for days without like having issues. I must say, so much better than many of the UK zoos yeah, that we've been to. definitely. And now we have a random pan. Oh look, he's back. Another orangutan that I dislike. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You're pretending. Yeah. yeah. He's looking. Look at this lens. You can see. Yeah. Fine. So we have pelicans, Dalmatian pelicans, and grey herons, yeah. 
gorillas. Oh, uh, your friends sleeping and relaxing. Yes, Pretty much what you do. Hey, it's looking. He looked and looked back and he looks and looked back. Hello. That's better view. Look at this one. Wow, it's such a fast <laughs> It's relaxing. I think they designed it. Um, what are they doing? They're gonna have a fight. Oh my god, this is good. I think there's a fair of the other That's really nice where I'm standing. So we have here a bunch of penguins. However, they are covered by a net. I think to prevent all the falling leaves from falling into their water and making it dirty for them. Although it makes the viewing less pleasurable, but I do understand why. Then, There's the water. And about. And there we go. <laughs> Okay, so I was looking at this and there's three penguins there and then this one seems to have a face. Okay, that's a strange looking penguin. I don't think we've ever found one of these before. It's a brown bear. Ooh. Brown bear, ladies and gents. You can see it's now just under the log and the rest of it's over there. Oh my god, look at this giant tortoise. Have you ever seen, uh, uh, seen in any of the other parks that big? We saw it in one where we went. Oh yeah, Blackpool maybe. Somewhere. That is, look at the arms, look at the size, oh my god. It's got this blackish thing, looks like mud. Teenage Mutant Yeah, Ninja Ninja yeah definitely. Which one is that, Donatello? Yeah. I don't know. It's got a reddish aspect to the shell, I think. Donatello Beautiful is. trees around it. Got another one there. This is the first. Actually, I think it's Raphael that's red. I can't remember. Mm. I'm really bad with turtle names. Ooh, look at this big munch. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Yeah. <laughs> Half expecting to burst into song. Hakuna Matata and Dr. Can you, can you sing Hakuna Matata? No, I'm not going to sing what it. What a wonderful yeah. day. What a wonderful phrase. What a wonderful day and what a wonderful phrase. Where is Hakuna Matata? Hakuna Matata. 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 Hakuna
a Komodo dragon. This one over there. And there. That's probably the only movement you're gonna ever get. Can you blink again, please? No, oh, I did blink. Move side. Oh, it swallowed. Gulp. I was breathing. Can you see that? Like a frog. Mm -hmm. Oh, see the eyes closed. Mm -hmm. The ear, it's like the whole at the side of it. I think so. Let me see the ring. Really Looks like an ear. Maybe that's what they listen from. These are Barbary sheep, apparently. Not really sure what a Barbary sheep is when it's at home, but there we go. Dangerous animal. Be careful. It can probably bite you. <laughs> Look, said your friend is up there. My friend? Yeah. Oh, oh, he heard me probably. That's awesome. Hello, Looks like a medieval movie, right? In a castle. Look at this. A massive wind fan, though. Yeah. So look at this view. This is Barcelona Zoo. For, like, it's amazing. You can climb up the stairs and come to this bit where you see these mountains, rocks, trees. Beautiful. This guy, okay, yeah, no, he's not part of the zoo. And all of this. And then, if we show you the view down below, look, you can see there's some birds here, vultures there. And then down below are those sheep I showed you earlier from outside that fence there. Literally, just look at that. That's like immense. All down there. You can even see trains over there from like whatever station that happens to be. Which is quite cool. There's buildings over there. Up here, you can see an amazing view of the Spanish horizon over there with the mountains, buildings, everything all along there. It looks so amazing. And that is Edward's pheasant, apparently. This guy looks really colourful. And we've got camels. And what's this white thing doing next to the camel? Let's see. Picking out the flies from them. Wow, the best friends look. Mm -hmm. they serve Camel's looking at me. The circle of love, my sleeping? friend.
right next to the entrance you have a zoo shop I can't see anyone in I don't even know if it's open it should be open this time around oh there's a stuff in by there but let's go and see if it's uh, open Here you can see behind me the Barcelona Zoo entrance. So you come in and you have the aviary here on my right along with the bug section. You can also go around that side but it all links round back to here. Then you can also go round to the left hand side but that all links round to over there as well. So it's one big L-shaped zoo, but it's a little, this bit section at the front is a bit confusing. So we went straight down and that was the way we went when we started. And then over here you have the shop as you're about to leave again, or as you're about to come in. And that's about it. We've pretty much covered it and we've been here for maybe two and a half hours. So yeah, it's a great day out. Lovely place to visit. Definitely recommend it if you haven't been. Unfortunately, there are a few animals that we have not yet seen such as the cheetahs and there was another one that I just remembered that we hadn't seen but I can't remember what it was but anyway yeah there's a couple that we didn't what about um, toilets and toilets are dotted around as you go around so they're quite easy to come by um, and so yeah there's plenty to use there's even some I believe somewhere around the entrance area what about food places uh, food places we've only seen so far one restaurant um, which when we went past it, which was around one-ish, maybe half one, was actually closed. There seemed to be like a staff meeting going on inside. Um, so I'm not really sure if there's any food places within the restaurant other than that, uh, within the zoo other than that, um, because we haven't found any. There's also not really any snack places, so there's nowhere to buy an ice cream or anything like that. It's, they have vending machines. There's a lot of vending machines around where you can buy drinks and things. Um, but I think they may be um, coins only. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's about it. But yeah, it's a fantastic day. But it's it's a very uh, quiet, nice park. Decent. Definitely recommend you if you're in Barcelona to come and give this a try. I don't think you'd be disappointed. It's very clean. In fact, very, very, very clean. Apart from the odd glasses and monkeys, you know, they're a little bit dirty. But so much cleaner than many other zoos that I've been to. Very peaceful at the time and place, the time of filming of this vlog. So overall, it's a very, I'm very satisfied, except when it comes to food, did not, could not see uh, many places which are open or did not see uh, any at all. All right, my bad. We actually nearly missed that section. It's a blue and yellow macaw. <laughs> Hola, 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 como esta? Hola, yes, we're not Spanish. He doesn't understand me. Oh, it's gonna be my bad accent. I don't think he's Spanish, he doesn't understand me. Hi, I'm the lifeguard over here, and this is why I usually sit. No, you can't be doing that. You can't be filming. You stop filming. But your this is located bashing. on the seventh floor and the roof. Is that the highest floor? Yeah. Whoops. Uh, oh, hello there. <laughs> hello, I was just... Uh, Oh, shit. 
I think I can get used to that. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs>